So I'm going to make up a couple of spare spare rigs for tonight. So there's bloody raisin shit everywhere, so just going to uh, do two 8 circle hooks on this one. I've already made a couple up anyway, but um, yeah, I'm going to forget about the the Taylor rigs tonight because that big mulloway last night I lost was on my tailor rig which had gang hooks on it four gang hooks and got it right to the bank and that busted me off and that never happens to me on my mulloway rig so a bit disappointed about that <clears throat> using tailor rigs because uh, i've lost a few good tailor on my mulloway rigs um uh, but i also usually get most of them in um but that was a rookie mistake because I'd rather lose Taylor and Mulloway rigs all the time than lose them one good Mulloway on a Taylor rig. So, yeah, that's going to be a bit better. But anyway, that's uh, how the cookie crumbles. Anyway, but... I use 100 pound, I think a 100 pound crane three way swivels as well. Um, I was going to make a full rig, but might as well now. I like to keep my leader on these reasonably short, um, mostly because of the weed and shit. Usually, where I'm fishing, there's a lot of swell and shit and weed which there is again now and there will be tonight so keep that short sorry i'm just lubing up that so i don't stretch it over stretch it when i tighten that up um yeah that's about how long i have it probably even shorter than that sometimes if the weed's bad um, might as well make this full rig up now. So, using 60 pound leader. A 50 pound braid on my rod, or my reels. I think one of them is 60 pound. Usually 50 pound on my reels. For my mulloway anyway. Bim them up. But yeah, I hooked a couple of big rays and sharks last night, so spent a bit of time rigging up rigs when the fishing was hot, so just gonna make a few spares up now. Uh I ran out of my bloody my grapnel sinkers as well, which I'm stewing about because I don't like these release ones. Um, I just find that the uh, these fill up with sand when they release and you pull them in, they fill up with sand in here. They fill up with sand in here and then you don't get the ball in probably and then the ball falls off and it's just a shit show but it's all good to use them uh, to hold your bait and release when it hits water etc but a lot of the shops that's all they seem to be selling now not the wire grapnel sinkers so it's a bit of a pain in the ass because the, the wire ones are good I highly rate them but um, I know they do they do get rusty after a bit and the wires snap off, but I really don't care. I just use it as a snapper lead whenever I'm on a boat after that. Just take the wires off and get some new ones, but 
paying extra money for these and I don't even use them what they're really meant for just because they're not stocking the, the wire ones. I just want it to hold in the bloody beach. So yeah, that's, that's my rig there. Just tie that straight to my leader and my my rod and ready to go. So I've got a few there ready for tonight. Um, my Taylor Slash Mulloway rig, I only use like five -oh, two five -oh hooks and then the um, the circle on the arse end. Circle hook, I think is 6 -oh circle on the arse end, 5 or 6 -oh on the arse end. Circle this one. And I've caught massive Mulloway on them. Um, but I'm stepping up a bit tonight and gather 7 -ohs. See how we go.